Hey there, you know any cool cats that know how to make some sick fucking games? Yeah, send them my way. Send them to old Papa Swolio. He'll show them how to make sick games. Mm-hmm. That's right, baby. That's right, those cool games. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome to episode 503 of the Daily Mother Swole. What's going on, Randy? The most muscular swole cast in the realm because when I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps just like a cool cat. That's right. Every day live at 12 noon Eastern time, you can catch all the episodes on YouTube and listen on SoundCloud and iTunes. And I'll tell you what, make sure you follow me on the old IG, the Instagram at Swonormous. Instagram at Swonormous, and you'll see all the amazing gains in full HD. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the cool shit right there. And now I'm doing the double glasses. The double glasses. Papa Swolio has returned. Papa Swolio is back in living color. Welcome everyone to episode 503 of The Swole. And I'm going a little bit uh, up top today because I want to make sure... Uh, is that angled right? That's angled right. There we go. I want to make sure we are all on the same page because is, this is the final death blow. da na na this is the final death blow to the glutes. This is the final death blow. This is the last episode that we're doing before the workshop tonight. So I'm gonna bring this in, get this nice and tight because I'm gonna demonstrate, I wanna show you, I'm gonna bring my head down here. I wanna show you exactly what I mean by death blow. I wanna show you exactly what I mean about how these hips get jacked up. Are we looking good? Can we see the death blow? Can we see it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. That's it, I just wanted to straighten that out a little bit. So welcome everyone, remember that today is the last day to make sure you jump in for the workshop, which is live at 8 p.m. Eastern time in my premium group. And the death blow to the hips is going to summarize everything we talked about so far. So we talked about how the glutes are weak. So we got, we got those weak glutes, which suck. No one likes weak glutes, right? We got weak glutes. We also have muscles that are tight. You know, we have tight hips, tight hip flexors, and we also have other muscles, tight TFL and things of that nature. So we got tight muscles. We know we got tight muscles going on. I'm gonna let everyone join in. What's going on, fam? I'll just use the top for a little bit so you can see my face. What's going on, Wesley, Mike? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we got weak glutes, tight hip flexors, and all week we've been talking about inhibiting, balancing, and creating that, um, that even balance from both sides of the hip. So you have the person that we uh, described, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago, the guy who's looking straight ahead, eyes, the whole thing, here, hips, knees, and feet, right? And the hips are out of alignment, okay? So we need to strengthen muscles on this side and we need to relax muscles on this side. So we need that balance. If you see right now, that's nice even keel, right? That's nice even keel. That's a nice even split right there. The problem is it's not always gonna be like that because we put our body in certain positions. We put our body in positions that lock up the hip. So we tighten up the hip by creating an imbalance here by sitting down in a chair, by sitting down at the office. We sit down too much, which creates a tilt. Okay, and that tilt actually, and I'll just use this example here, it's called actually a tilt. It's called an anterior pelvic tilt. So you'll see how this becomes like that. And then everything is aimed that direction. And the reason why this is important, because I'm gonna jump right into what I said I would yesterday, um, why the lengthening and why the sitting down causes amplified pressure and amplified problems for the glutes because when you have this anterior tilt, everything above and below has to rebalance. So when it's straight, everything's balanced nice and easy. But when you start getting that kind of tilt, just like the game Jenga or those bar games, like I said, this is going to the lower back is going to be pointed forward. So you're going to get a little bit more of a curvature in the lower back. So a lot of you have lower back problems and you're also going to have 
more tension in the hamstring. So the glutes shut down, the hamstrings are going to be more tension. So you're going to have pressure uh, at the knee joints. You're going to have a, little, a lot of tension at the knee joint issues at the hip, and you can also have problems at the foot. So this causes a lot of these problems. And it all starts from here. So the core, literally the core of your body, which is the glutes right in the center, causes this whole imbalance. When you change one piece, when you change that center piece, you're gonna have all these issues and it's not good. It's not good. You don't want to have this problem. Is it reversible? It can be balanced. It can be balanced. It's not easy because every day you, we were sitting down, sitting down, sitting down. We have to do something to actively correct it. So how do we do that? Okay. We need to, like I said, we need to activate the glute muscles. Yesterday, I was talking about activating the glute muscles, but why? Before we get into that, and tonight we're getting into that in the uh, workshop, let's say you're driving a car, right? Person's in traffic, really angry, really pissed off. These hips are out of alignment, okay? Now that doesn't mean that it's bad to sit down. It doesn't mean that it's bad to sit. We're human beings, we're designed to sit. We're designed to take a deep squat. But it doesn't mean that this is bad. You could sit down, that's a natural thing. But when you sit down for eight hours a day, let's say you, I mean, let's tally it up, right? Let's say you wake up at 6 a.m. and you have breakfast, that's half an hour, right? Half an hour sitting down, for example. You drive to work, that's an hour, that's another hour. Then you, uh, let's see, you take the elevator upstairs, you sit down at a desk for, let's say you get there from nine to 12, that's three hours. Then you go to lunch for half an hour, that's 30 minutes sitting down, you're not standing to eat. Then you go back and you work until five o'clock, so let's say another four hours. Then you go home, you sit, you have dinner, or you go home, you drive home an hour. Uh, then you sit down for dinner, let's say you have another half an hour, then you sit down and watch TV for two hours. You got two, Freaking three, seven, 10, 11. You got over 12 hours of sitting down if you do that kind of like average. And that's usually average for people. So that could be 12 hours a day of you sitting down. That's a big imbalance. That's a big problem. So we'll talk about more of that in the, another episode, but that's a big amount of time. That's a big amount of your day where you're sitting on your ass. So what happens here is not only are these shut down, it's not just because of the hip position, okay? These, this angle here is too small. This angle here is too big, okay? Now we need to activate this. We need to strengthen and tighten these muscles up. We need to tighten the glute muscles up. We need to activate. So here, and I'll just reiterate here, and we can see that here, we need to activate these muscles, okay? We need to activate them by doing isolation exercises. Tonight at 8 p.m. in the premium workshop, I'm gonna be demonstrating these activation exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate the process. I'm gonna demonstrate the inhibition technique. I'm gonna demonstrate the activation tech, the lengthening and the activation techniques um, tonight in the workshop. So those of you that aren't aware, premium.solenormous.com, the link is in the description. So right above uh, the post where I wrote the name of the episode, the number of the episode, you can click the, the link and it'll take you right there where you can sign up and get access to the private Facebook group right here. Uh, and that's live tonight. So it's gonna be very interactive and we'll be doing all the demonstrations then. Uh, so what's also going on here, it's not just the lengthening, it's the pressure. So you're getting an inhibition. Let me zoom in here. Let me zoom into the hip. Let's zoom into that. Let's take a real closer look at that hip. So let's say this is the steering wheel, this is the hip, really zoomed in. What you're getting here uh, in the chair is you're getting a lot of pressure. You're getting a lot of pressure, I'll put these X's, because you're sitting down. And where you're getting that pressure from is simply gravity. It's simply gravity, you're getting pressure on your glutes from gravity because you're sitting down so you're squeezing. The bone structure is putting pressure on the glute tissue and compressing it. It's compressing it like a sandwich. And that pressure shuts down the communication between the brain and the glutes. So it's the lengthening that's bad, it's the angle that's bad, but it's also the pressure of the bones and the gravity on the glute tissue. It's both, okay? 
It's both. You have problems with the lengthening, the angle of the joint, and also the pressure that gravity is pulling down on this for. That is another concern because what you're doing is you're compressing tissue. So that compression, the compression inhibits the glutes. And I equated this compression inhibits. And I use this as an example that the glutes or the brain forgets the glutes phone number. Remember I was saying, remember when you had to like remember someone's phone number, the glutes or the brain for, forgets the glutes phone number and is unable to communicate with the glutes properly. When there's the lack of ability to communicate, there's gonna be a lack of activation. The glutes are not gonna fire properly. If you agree with this, first off, if you have any hip issues, I want you to comment below. And if you agree with what I'm saying, please hit the share button. I appreciate it and thank you. This is free content. Um, I do not charge for any of these daily swoles. I only get sponsored by my right and my left biceps. That's all I get from this. This is for you to pass around. This is for you to pass around. This is for you to give to other people because this is what is not taught in school. This is not what's taught in the gym. This is not what's taught to people that get into fitness. And this is why you're fucked up. That's right. That's why you're fucked up because you don't do this type of stuff. You're not aware of this type of stuff. People don't teach this type of stuff. That's why the world is fucked up. It's the food and it's the lack of proper exercise. Lifting, okay, that's great. People don't do it properly. All right, so if you wanna go and be a meathead or just go and lift weights and do your fucking CrossFit and go bang yourself up, that's fine. I'll see you in 30 years when you're in a wheelchair and I'm not. Here is where it all starts, okay? So compression inhibits the glutes. The pressure and the squeezing of the muscle shuts it down because the body wants to release pressure. So the brain will signal, send a signal down to the glutes and say, hey, reduce pressure shut down this muscle to reduce the pressure here because gravity is squeezing, 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 squeezing. So the brain says, you know what? Shut down this muscle, relax it more so we can absorb some of this pressure so it doesn't hurt as much. And then as a result of that, the muscle gets deactivated and the glutes are activated less and it becomes this vicious cycle. So it's not just the length. It's not only the length the length and the pressure from sitting down, sitting down at a computer at a desk in the car, length and pressure sitting down that shuts down the glutes it is no good for the glutes. It is no good for your booty and it is jacking you up. It is jacking you up. It is fucking you in the ass, literally. This is a problem and this is what is causing you to have chronic lower back pain. This is what's risking you from, uh, for tendonitis in your knee, for ACL tears, MCL tears, all those knee problems, plantar fasciitis in your foot, issues with uh, achy arches in your foot. Uh, this is what is leading to all that chronic neck pain, upper back pain, shoulder pain, rotator cuff issues. It all starts from the center of the body. So what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it, Papa Solio? What the fuck? What are we going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. In the workshop tonight, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to explain what you should be doing, and this is what exactly what we're going to be doing in the workshop tonight. I'm going to angle this down a little bit. Okay? In the workshop tonight, and this is the process that you should be doing anyway, you need to be inhibiting... the tight muscles, right? The tight muscles on the front, okay? You need to be inhibiting the tight muscles on the front, namely the hip flexors, the rectus femoris, the TFL, the muscles on the front of the hip. Tight, and I'm just gonna put in parentheses front because it makes it simpler, okay? I'll get into more details of that later tonight. Inhibiting. Then we need to also lengthen, okay? This is great, this is great content that's in some of the certifications that are more popular today. Lengthening techniques. So this is just means stretch. We got to stretch these muscles. We got to stretch these muscles because when you inhibit, when you relax with pressure, with foam rolling and massage techniques, then the muscles are better able to stretch. So you shut them down and then you can stretch them, okay? Just going into a lengthening movement doesn't always break up all the scar tissue. Then you also get the activation. So now we're going to activate. We're going to activate the glutes. 
And what I want to remind you is that we're going to remind the brain of the glute's phone number. So we are going to give the brain the phone number of the glutes again and remind the brain how to turn the glutes on. And that's the process. And then moving forward, uh, you start integrating the movements, you start getting back into squats, but this is why squats don't work. This is why just doing squats won't work for you. That's why if you just do squats all the time, it's not gonna work. Because you can't do this with squats. You can't activate and lengthen and inhibit with squats alone. You can't. Squats are an integrated exercise with multiple joints. You can't hit all this with a compound exercise like a squat. Are squats bad? Of course not, they're very good. But doing squats to achieve this is a wrong approach. You need to go after it individually and then put it all together. Because once you reteach the body, that's what you're doing, okay? You are teaching the body and it's an interesting concept. You're teaching the body how to move. You're teaching the body how to move. The reason is because the body has forgot how to move. Because you sit on your ass all the time and you have pushed the body to forget how to move. You've pushed the body to forget what to do. So you have to reteach. You have to teach the body how to move from scratch. And that's all it is. That's all this is. You're reteaching the body how to move. That's it. You're reteaching the body how to move, and when you think about it that way, it's because it's forgotten how to move. It's forgotten how to move because you have, in effect, taught it to forget by, you know, assuming bad habits, by picking a job where you're sedentary. And I'm not saying it's your fault, it's no one's fault, it's just what you do for a living, but that can set you back. So, in order to work on these concepts, okay, in order to work on these concepts and really understand them, I'm going to be demonstrating all these. I'm gonna be demonstrating all these in the workshop tonight. So the link is in the description. I'll put the details here. So it's going to be in my premium group. So we call it, of course, the premium workshop. Now all the workshops are in my premium group and this is at 8 p.m. tonight. So you're watching right now at 12 p.m. Eastern time. In eight hours, we'll be doing the Hips Don't Lie workshop. So. The workshop is called Hips Don't Lie. And the cool thing about uh, the premium group is that once you sign up, you have access to all the previous workshops. So we've done movement assessments, we've done corrective exercise, core training, uh, nutrition workshops. So we've done a lot of workshops already that you can access immediately and catch up because the movement assessments, the foam rolling workshop last week, all of this applies. And it's all cumulative knowledge. So everything that I talk about on the Daily Swole, everything I talk about on this show, and Everything pretty much on all my channels, you know, combined goes into uh, my private community and the workshops make it applicable because a lot of this stuff can be like, holy shit, that's cool information. And it goes right over your head. This way, uh, we can put it together in a form that you can apply it tonight. So if you have a foam roller, that's great. If you don't, okay, you can get one, but you'll learn the techniques and you can say, ah, and watch this workshop and apply it and like do it with me while we're, um, while I'm live and ask questions. So it's an interactive live workshop, 8 p.m. Eastern time. The link is in the post description, premium.swornormous.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask because the workshop does go live. Sure, you can sign up tomorrow and catch it later, but it's better to be here live. That way you can ask questions, that way you can be there in the moment and uh, go through it with me. Because um, if you have any issues or any pain or any, uh, I would say things that like lock you up with your posture that you can't do, you can ask live and we can address it at the, on the spot. And like I said, all the previous workshops that we've ever done is available. And I'm sure right now I can't see the, the text or the comments right now on the screen, but uh, I'm sure people from premium are commenting about the group already. So tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time, link is in the description, Hipstone Live premium workshop, fucking looking forward to it. Super, super amped about it. Let me see if there's any, um, any positive feedback. If you need to work at a desk, get a standing desk. Standing desks are good, gotta keep on moving though. Gotta keep on moving. One of the things I see about standing desks is that people just stand in one spot all the time and that could be uh, that could be detrimental too. Yeah, thanks Rory, I appreciate it. I'm really excited for the workshop tonight too. I think it's gonna be great. I don't think it's gonna be great. It's, it's going to be great. If you're enjoying these episodes, uh, you're gonna love the workshop tonight. How are we gonna fix it? I'll show you, 
I show you. Oh, thanks, Matthew. Current college baseball player. I play ball in college too. Very cool. Very cool. I'm glad you're enjoying the hip, uh, the hip content. Glutes be like, you used to call me on my cell phone late. <laughs> Glutes be like, Drake. Cool. So everyone, remember, 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 remember. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time, if you have any questions, you can message me. Just message me here on the Facebook page, or you can click the link in the post description. So if you're listening to the podcast, premium.sornormous.com, you get access at any time. You try it free for a week, but you get access to all the workshops. Most importantly, tonight, tonight, hips don't lie. Hips don't lie. Thanks, Shakira. Love you guys. Peace, McGee's. Deuce, Magoose. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 503. 503 of the Daily Mother Swole. The most muscular swole cast in the realm. Because when I flex, you flex. That's the closer right now. Yeah, thanks, Oliver. Glad to have you back, bro. Megan, thank you so much. I can't wait for the hip workshop tonight. Like I said, if you have any questions, just message me. I'll see you all on Instagram and Instagram stories. Make sure you check me out there. I'll be doing a little bit of review, preview of tonight's workshop and also doing some follow-up for today's episode. And I'll see everyone tonight at 8 p.m. each time in premium for the workshop. Peace, McGee's. Deuce, McGoose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Later, guys.